Okay, this is Math 200. We are doing the note packet for Chapter 5. Uh, we're looking at 5.3, page 4, the fourth page right on the tippy top. Um, and we're going to cover 5.3 and 5.4 in this video. So let's take a look at 5.3. We're talking about polynomial functions. So we've got um, terms, coefficients, constants, and polynomials. A term is unlike terms, like each one of these are different terms, unlike terms. Um, down here, 9x to the third, 4x squared, and 7. Those are three terms, so that's a trinomial. All right. Um, coefficient is the number in front. 9 is the coefficient there, negative 4 there. 7 is kind of its own coefficient. Constant is a number without a variable on it, so 7 is a constant on that one. And a polynomial is anything that looks like this. No variables in the denominator. If there's a variable in the denominator, it's officially not a polynomial. So let's uh, answer the fill in the blanks here. There are how many terms on uh, this one? There's one, two, three, four terms. And they say, what are they? Well, they just want us to list them out. 7x to the fifth, x squared, y squared, negative 4xy and seven. There's problems like this on the online work. So remember to put commas in between. Don't put the plus in front of it, like the plus seven or the plus x squared. They just want a list of the terms. Uh, the coefficient is just the number in front. So that's just seven. Uh, the coefficient of this, oh, that's tricky. What do you see? Like, like the little kid who sees dead people all the time. You see ones all the time. There's a one there. Uh, coefficient of negative four x y is negative four. Coefficient of seven is Seven, I don't know. I've already seen other texts that it said basically um, you wouldn't, that's an improper question because it needs a variable after it to actually be a coefficient. Seven is a constant, so they actually named it a special name. But um, we'll just play along on the, on the online ones, tell them seven is seven. Uh, monomill has one term, binomial has two terms, trinomial has three terms. Uh, the degree of a constant is zero. So if I said, what's the degree of this? It's zero. There's, there, it's a zero degree. Uh, degree of this. So this is a special case. We'll come back to this one. Put a pin in that one for a second. Let's look at the degree of this trinomial. So this is a trinomial. There's a 9x to the third minus 4x squared plus 7. So we have a 3, a 2, and a 0. 3. So this is a third degree. It's a third degree trinomial is what's going on there. This one is special because there's multiple variables in the same term. See, that's only got just x in it. That's just got x in it. This is normally what we're working with. This is a special case. There's multiple variables in the same term. So what we do with that is we take the 4 plus the 3 plus the 1, and we say that's an eighth degree monomill. And it's a monomill because there's only a single term. All right, so let's see, we've got one more problem on the, two more problems on the bottom of this page. So we're still on page four. Let's erase that. I've got my little TAC3PO here. He holds my markers and my eraser. Okay, so let's take a look at example number one. They want me to add 3x minus 8, quantity 3x minus 8 plus quantity 4x squared minus 3x plus 3. And so now this one, they have parentheses around that and around that, but they're really useless because we're not distributing anything. There's a 1 there, there's a 1 there. If I multiply it out, basically nothing happens. We just have the exact same thing without any, any parentheses. And so now we're just combining like terms. So let's combine. Let's first look at the, the leading coefficient, the big dog. The highest power you see there is a 2. So this one would be first. So we'll look at that first. There's nobody that matches with it, so that just goes down as, as such. Um, Negative 3x matches ooh, with positive 3x. So those die. Boop, boop, gone. 
that is positive and negative, they wipe each other out. And then negative eight and positive three. We can combine those like terms, that's uh, negative five. So there we are, that's our answer. Our answer is a second degree binomial. All right, second degree binomial. Okay, so let's look at uh, number two. So number two, we've got eight y to the third minus four y squared plus five. And they want me to, oh, add using the vertical form, format. So they want me to add five y squared plus one. So the vertical format just means you write it underneath the like terms, underneath each other. You just line them up vertically. So that plus one. And we do this like old time when you added like uh, big numbers when you were in arithmetic. So we add straight down, we get a six there, um, positive six. We add straight down uh, one y squared. So you can put the one there if it's a test, but on the online homework, they don't want the one there. Um, and nobody for eight y to the third. So let's identify this. Um, that is one, two, three terms, so it's a trinomial. And then the highest power, there's a two there, a three there, so the highest power is a three. So this is a third degree trinomial. All right. All right. On the next page. Oh, wait, they got one more combined like terms. We can squeeze that in. We'll put that down here, number three. Or I guess a uh, different number one combined like terms. So what do we have here? We've got an x squared y plus x, y minus y plus 10 x squared y. Oh goodness, uh, is that a minus 2y? I think it's a minus 2y and a plus xy. Whew. So let's see, uh, somebody for the x squared y, x squared y. So there's one here and 10 there, that's 11 x squared y. Um, one xy, one xy is two xy. Uh, negative one y, negative two y is negative three y. And I think we took care of everybody, so that's it. All right, well, let's look at the next part, subtracting polynomials. So really the same deal, we're just going to distribute a negative first. So it's the exact same problem, it's just one extra step to it. You distribute a negative throughout a parentheses, and then when the negative is distributed, you just combine like terms. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing that we just did. So, when we have, let's see, 1, 7x minus 8 minus 3x minus 12. So what we're going to do here is distribute, yeah, I think this is just going to be 5.3. Because we're going to, we're using up our time. I'm trying to keep them all around 10 minutes. Um, so 7x minus 8 and minus 3x minus 12. So we do the distributive property. We get 7x minus 8 minus 3x plus 12. And now we just combine up like terms. So the only difference from the problems that we just did before that was we took this negative and changed the sign on that one and changed the sign on that one. And now we just combine like terms. So 4x plus 4. Done. So this is a first degree binomial. All right, uh, number two. 2x to the third plus 8x squared minus 7x minus 3x to the third. Um, let's see, what is that? Minus 2x squared plus 3. So what we're going to do here is let's do the vertical method from the page before. So let's first change all the signs. So this becomes a minus, 
this becomes a plus, and this becomes a minus. But now I'm going to write those underneath the ones they match with. Oh, that doesn't match with that one, though. i got to slide it over. So there's no match for the x and no match for the 3. So now we add straight down. Negative x to the third. We add straight down. 10x squared. Nothing for the 7x. And nothing for the 3. And that's our answer. Uh, so this is a polynomial with four terms. After 3, we stop naming them. So the polynomial with four terms, and it's a third degree. All right, let's look at number three and four here. It's four minus negative y minus four. And so we do the distributive property. So we got four plus y plus four. And so that's just y plus c. All right. Press on, shall we? So now, oh, now we're on page five. And so uh, we just did that one. Let's look at four, negative a squared plus one, minus a squared minus three, plus quantity five a squared minus six a plus seven. And we'll look at 5 is 3x squared minus 7xy, 8y squared plus, what was that minus? What did we do? No, it's plus. Uh, negative 2x squared plus 9xy minus what's Alright. Okay. And then uh, number 6 is 9a squared b squared plus 7ab minus 4ab squared minus quantity, holy smokes, 6b squared a plus 3ab minus 4 minus 10b squared. Oh no, I don't think you can see the. Uh, Minus 10b squared behind his arm. It's there. I'll rewrite it underneath here when I do it. All right. So let's look at these problems. We got negative 1a squared plus 1. Negative 1a squared plus 3. 5a squared minus 6a plus 7. Okay. So a squared negative, negative 2, positive 5, 3a squared, 1, 3, 7, that's 11. Oh, wait, I left out the a, though. Let's uh, put the little plus 11 at the end, and then we'll put the little minus 6a. Nobody for minus 6a, but we'll put that in the middle so it's in descending order. I kind of want these things to shake out to be in, in descending order. So that's why I had to squeeze the 6a six, six in there. All right. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I need to do anything with this. Just combine like terms. So we put the 3x squared with the negative 2x squared. So that's, uh, wait, did I take down the wrong problem? Let's see. Or no, I'm looking at the wrong problem, sorry. Okay, so yeah, just that, with that, is x squared, 1x squared. This, with this, is 2xy. And this, with 
this is seven y squared. It just threw me off because there was no distributive property there with the minus. I, I think um, I put that on there because students thought that they had to change the signs when there was a plus into like pluses. You don't do that. You only change it if there's a negative there because a negative one times anything changes the sign. A positive one times anything, it just remains the same. All right, so let's rewrite this one underneath the ones they match with. So this is tricky because here, let's make that a negative, that a negative, that a positive, that a positive. This one actually matches with AB squared. So we're going to put the negative 6AB squared underneath that one. This one matches with the 7AB. We're going to put a minus 3AB right underneath the 7AB. This one doesn't match with anybody. So we're just going to tack on a little plus 4 on the end up there. And this one, 10b squared, also doesn't match with anybody, so we'll just tack it on the front. And now we add up like terms. So there's only two like term matches here. So we end up with 10b squared plus 7a squared b squared plus 4ab minus 10ab squared plus 4. Now order does not matter in this case. You can put it in whatever order you want, um, especially when there's multiple variables in there. All right? So uh, one last problem, and then we'll be done with this one. Oh, no, I think we went to like 15 minutes on this thing. 5.3 is going to be a long one. All right, so the last one is just find f of, or p of, uh, p of negative 2. So what we do is just sub in wherever you see an x, you replace it with a negative 2. That's all. So they have p of x defined as 2x to the third minus 3x plus 4. Basically, I'm just going to replace those x's with negative 2's. And then we're going to follow order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this doesn't mean p times that, it's p of, p of negative 2 is equal to, so negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, I do the exponents first. So that is negative 8, and the negative times the negative is a positive, so we got negative 16 plus 6 plus 4, that's negative 10 plus 4, that's negative 6. So p of negative 2 is Fancy. So that's 5.3. Next video will be 5.4. Uh,